Hello everybody, welcome to another episode of Last Day on Earth Survival. Today we return and I got a couple of pretty awesome things that I want to talk about. Awesome thing number one, Kolesnikov 47. Awesome thing number two, there's a chopper event going on. And the chopper event actually has a little bit to do with something I want to talk about this video. Another thing I'm going to talk about here in a sec is the fact that apparently they're slowly updating the SWAT armor. Because now the SWAT helmet has a new icon all of a sudden. Like that, this wasn't had, like this... I don't know what's happening. I think slowly that they're reworking all of like how how the SWAT armor looks or something. And ooh, an airdrop. We'll visit that later. But right now, Papa Star only want to visit one place. I only want to go to one place, and that's this chopper event. Do you know why? Because there have been rumors going around for quite a while. The chopper events contain the scuba mask, the snorkel, whatever you want to call it. There's been rumors going around that they contain it. But apparently it's very rare. Well, today I was able to uncover even more screenshots. So I talked about this a couple of weeks ago, actually. And uh, ever since then, though, there's been a couple more screenshots surfacing. Different screenshots, too, of uh, people with the snorkel in their inventory. And it's just like, okay. So this really has to either be a super rare thing. I'll go ahead and show you guys those screenshots in a second here. But this either has to be like a super rare thing or these it's being like modded in or something that's that's the only two possible explanations right now and ooh, it's one of these events maybe we'll luck out and do good but i got kalashnikov 47 i will use band-aid on me to get to full health and uh, why are there so many deer oh my god dude why this place always has a bajillion deer for some reason i feel like they're gonna get caught in the crossfire no i just want to shoot uh, my friend the survivor yeah he's trying to wave at me not a good idea waving at Papa Star. Get away, get away, get away. Ah! Okay, I gotta I got kite them a little bit here. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll use the first aid kit on that. There we go. Oh, that was almost close. If that guy got the hit in on me, that could have been bad. There we go. Ah! Okay, that was getting close again, too. Alright, please just finally die. Okay, they're dead. Oh, don't tell me this guy's out of bounds. Oh, hallelujah. That sometimes happens. Their bodies are out of bounds. Alright. So we're gonna be scouring this event. First things first though, I do wanna see everything that we have to take from here. And we got some pretty all right pickings. Got some water that I'll actually make sure to take a good amount of paint here. Definitely taking the water though. I love the water because we can use it to steal some gas from these guys' gas tanks, which is perfect because it cost me a good amount of gas to get here. So listen, dude, gas in today's post-apocalyptic economy. It's not the cheapest thing in the world. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but for real, with these scuba tanks, here are a couple of the screenshots. I got all of them on uh, on screen, hopefully. So the top two are newer ones. One surfaced right around a couple days ago. I got it tweeted at me. The other one came out right around two, almost three weeks ago. And uh, then the bottom two were the older ones we covered in the older video. So I don't know what's been going on here, but supposedly it's a thing. Oh my God, how many deer are there? Do you guys see this on the map? Why? Why are there bajillions of deer? But yeah, there's only two explanations for this. Either A, this is seriously like the rarest item in the game because supposedly you can only get it out of what we have been told. You can only get it out of rest stops, which is exactly why I'm telling you guys right now. If you want to get it, keep on going to the rest stops because that's the one thing that everything's had in common. Every single person who's talked about this, uh, every single screenshot, all of them sh Oh, I forgot to put these things away. I should have done that now that I think about it. But that is the one thing that every single one of them have had in common. So I guess I'll start scrapping a couple of these hats. Yeah, and then we can take a nicer hat home with us, a nicer sledgehammer with us, and uh, honestly, we're going to go ahead and start siphoning some gas after we urinate on the chopper here. Nothing, nothing as good as that, you know what I'm saying? I still cannot believe that there's a bajillion deer here. Like, what in tarn- Oh, we need a shower, too. Well, that's gonna suck. Alright, why don't we just siphon up that gas. There we go. And then we'll siphon up the gas from this one. This one might have a little bit more, though. Yeah, it does have a little bit more. Alright, so we gotta grab a couple more empty bottles. But let me know what you guys think of that in the comment section down below. Do you think that after seeing even more evidence, more screenshots that this- I think it is a thing. But I really think it's super rare, because think about it. If they make it, like, a super rare item, and you can only get it at the chopper event, that means you only get one chance per day to get your hands on it, which means, I don't know, at least to me, like, I think it could be possible. 
I really do, but will it end up being possible? Who knows? I will take those weapon parts with us and other than that, I'm looking good. Did this deer not drop anything or did I accidentally kill that good deer in the crossfire? I don't even know, but all right. I'm happy with what we got here. Papa Star is a happy papa all as well in the world, but I... Dude, those scuba masks, man. I want one of those so badly. That's why every single day I'm doing this. And hey, if any of you guys have gotten your hands on the scuba mask, I have a request for you. Because the one thing, the one way that we have not seen the scuba mask, I'm actually going to hop back in here to tell you guys. We've seen the scuba mask, right? We've seen it in people's inventories. Okay, and we've seen one screenshot where it was actually on the people's face. But that wasn't in the overworld. You know what I'm saying? That was only here. You know, that was only over here. So what I have to say, listen, this is the part. This is what I love about having a YouTube channel with an insanely amazing community like you guys. We can work together to get to the bottom of this. All right. So what I got to ask of you guys, if you have a scuba tank or not scuba tank, a snorkel mask, please. What I would like you to do is maybe record a small little video of it, of you walking around with it in the overworld. Okay. Because we've seen it in the inventories. We've seen it, maybe like even a video of the, like the model moving around to show that it isn't like photoshopped or something. Anything like that. If you could do that, that would be absolutely freaking amazing. Okay, because we got a huge community here. Just tweet it at me, at StarSnipe1, and hopefully we can get to the bottom of this. And what I would like to encourage you guys is to everyone who has a chopper, please continue doing these chopper events on the daily so we can try to get to the bottom of this absolutely as soon as possible. Because I think all of us want to know if the scuba mask is a legit thing because if it is that means it's gonna come in handy in the future like we know like okay no we know it's legit it's been confirmed to be in the game files like in the files of the game we just don't know if it's actually like lootable yet so i guess that's what i'm talking about i, I want to find out with the help of you guys if it is lootable i'm doing my part i'm going to the chopper events if y'all got chopper events join in with me another thing is i want to ask you guys your opinions on this what do you think of the scuba mask slash the snorkel do you think it's real as of right now do you think it's lootable or do you think these are like hoaxes or something like that who knows but we've seen more screenshots coming out but they're all similar no one equips it on their face and walks around that's the one thing that has me skeptical but let me know what you guys think of it in the comment section down below and also while you're at that i would absolutely love 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 if you guys like and make sure that you are subscribed you know why not just for my love, but for the weekly $25 iTunes slash Play Store gift card giveaway. Winners are announced on, uh, what day is that? Saturday. They're announced on Saturday. I'll pick a random last day on Earth video so you guys can enter on every single video from the past week from this last Saturday to this upcoming Friday. Pick a random video. Uh, I will organize this a little bit more later. Don't worry about that. Right now, I'm just really trying to get the clean inventory going. Hallelujah for having this huge trunk space, though. But I'll pick a random video. You guys can enter in on every video. Uh, same way, pretty much. And I'll pick a random video. Pick a random comment from that video. If that comment followed the rules, boom shakalaka on Saturday. You will be contacted. You will be announced. And you will get your hands, baby. You will get them hands on something amazing. You know what that amazing thing is? A $25 iTunes slash Play Store gift card. Your choice, of course. I'll message you. I'll let you guys know more about that on Saturday, but in the meantime, that's how you do it. But another thing I'd love to hear from you guys as well is not just if you think that the scuba tank is a hoax or if you think it's fake or something. We're also going to be going to the airdrop here because the airdrops have a chance of dropping engine parts. And if you guys may, I, I, we got to take a shower first, though. Uh, the engines have a good chance at dropping uh, airdrop. Or I don't know if it's a good chance. I don't know exactly the chance, but I know that they have a chance of dropping the beloved thing known as engine parts. So every time there's an airdrop, for the love of everything, may go for it. Go for that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but um, what else was I saying? I was in the middle of thought. Oh, yeah. And not only do I want to hear about if you think it's a hoax or not, but I would love to hear what you think they're going to do with the scuba mask. Because before, what I thought you could have done with it, I'll just head over here to the overworld to show you guys. Before, what my hypothesis, what my theory was with this thing, is that you would need it to get to the oak grove biome because you have to like scuba through the river but now that i'm thinking about it i don't know like the river is the river really deep enough where we have to like snorkel through it uh who the hell knows so i guess moving forward what do you guys think that the snorkel mask could realistically be used on 
like uh, maybe near the dock you could go snorkeling Ooh, i could actually see that being a thing maybe you go snorkeling near the dock or like coastal regions and then you can sometimes find some good loot underwater because like you're snorkeling through it so maybe it's like lost loot underwater that'd be a nifty thing that should be really cool because that wouldn't like lock anything like any progression behind like something super hard to find at least right now supposedly super hard to find snorkel mask it wouldn't like lock any new areas behind it but it would be an awesome method of getting some new loot it would use up that durability since i'm guessing it's going to have durability and a couple other things like that so that would actually be a pretty cool implementation in my eyes but uh, another thing i could see it also being is a way of getting across this river over to this new area but i think that might be more the atv because maybe it's a shallow river all-terrain vehicle will let us cross it because maybe it's like one of those like like uh water tanks or something like you know it, they float out like all terrain literally means all terrain including water you know maybe it's got flotation devices or something or maybe we could scuba our way over to charlie maybe the scuba will just be in general a way of being able to get across these bodies of water i don't know but i'd love to hear what you guys have to say those are a couple of my ideas feel free to use them feel free to expand them in your comment any of that jazz at the end of the day i would just love 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 to hear what you got to say and ooh. This is going to be pretty close to the northern biome, so honestly, if we're going to be so far up north, checking out that airdrop, I might bring a pickaxe or two and actually go visit the winter biome. Problem is, uh, that's the last place we died. We actually lost a couple of things, unfortunately, but I think if we bring in the fur booties and a little bit of... I think we should have a pickaxe somewhere here. Or, oh, I don't think we have the pickaxe with us. Okay, but we do have the fur boots, so I'll go ahead and grab those. We'll make a pit stop by the base, you know, do that. And uh, in the meantime, oh, another thing I really want to show you guys. So scuba talking aside, check this out. Check this out for size. Do you guys see what I'm seeing? Do you guys see on the computer this man working on what appears to be a freaking bear? So that's right. If they're already modeling the bear, which means it's about to be put into the game, that means the bear is going to be something that is going to be coming into the game. And I like, I, okay, maybe I don't like bears because they could probably maul our face and stuff. And I like my face like intact and everything, right? But dude, that's pretty freaking awesome that, you know, this is a great sign that bears are going to be something that's going to be coming. And uh, I, I just, what I want to start wondering about is how are they going to be implemented? And this is another thing where I wanted to ask you guys. So what I think is going to happen with them, right? I'm just going to pop out of our base here for a sec to show you guys. But as you know, I, it's obviously going to be a wild animal. Maybe it'll be a zombie, but looking at this model, I don't think so. Maybe you guys disagree. If so, let me know. Because that, I like just because I say something doesn't mean it's right. That's just my thoughts, my opinions, all that jazz. But as you guys can see here, it's modeled. It's looking like a normal bear. And in the past, we have seen instances of new types of animals being added to existing biomes. So like here in the red forest, a couple of foxes do exist. So that is something that could happen. This thing could either be added into new biomes and be like a powerful animal that can actually fight back. The first of its kind. Maybe drop... Oh, dude, it'd probably drop, like, bear fur or something. Imagine if the bear fur or something, you could use that. Oh, they would totally do a polar bear up in the north, too. Ah! This is awesome. My brainstorming is absolutely going off right now. But I could totally see something up in the north. Them doing polar bears. Then I could see over here in the winter biome. Maybe the oak biomes. You know, make them, like, something unique like that. Or if not, though, I could definitely see them being maybe added to the hardest biomes. Like, the red biomes. So... That actually be a cool way of doing it, you know? Because you could go to the yellow biomes if you want to be safe from them, if you want to hunt foxes, gather a little bit of copper. But if you want to get bigger amounts, man, it gets more dangerous. Although they're already pretty dangerous, so I don't know. But that's another pretty awesome thing is that this bear is going to be added. And I think that the way it'll work is really two ways. A, it gets added into its like own biome or like it gets added into a new biome or something. Maybe like a new type of forest or like a cave, like a bear cave or something. Who knows? or it gets added into an existing biome i think an existing biome would be easier but at the end of the day who knows i do love the idea that they could skin this to be a polar bear though because they already do have custom zombies in the northern region so honestly why not a polar bear that would be so awesome but let me know what you guys think in terms of how you think that the bear will be implemented what you think they'll do with it how powerful you think i think it'll be pretty powerful I honestly do, and I think it might drop like bear fur, which might help you make like even stronger fur armor 
Maybe like it protects you more and gives you even more heat insulation or something. Who knows? All I know is that that would be freaking awesome. That's something I'd love to see. And something I'd love to hear about from you guys. And feel free, this can count as your comments of the day entry into the giveaway. I just want to hear what you guys got to say. And I love, you know, I love just being able to encourage you guys to really get those thoughts out. Because at the end of the day, that's what makes the channel so awesome. We work together as a community. We come up with the best ideas. We come up with the best tactics in the game. And together, all of us become better last day on Earth players. Wouldn't you agree? And I like to think we have some fun along the way. But okay. I did say I want to craft up a couple of these pickaxes. So I'm going to grab a uh, last. I needed a couple of planks here. Got a ton of charcoal I got to do stuff with. But where are my planks? There they are. Should be able to craft up one incy teensy pickaxe. I'm happy with one. Don't want to take much more. I'll drop everything else off in a couple of these chests. Maybe not the most organized thing, but to hell with it. And all right. I'm pretty ready for the north. We got a good amount of first aid kits. If we start getting ambushed, I think we'll be ready to fight back or something along those lines. But yeah. I'm very excited to hear what you guys have to say about the bear as well. So we really had some awesome stuff to talk about today. And of course the SWAT armors, which I don't really know if there's much to talk about, but you guys can see that they are slowly remaking the SWAT armor because this, this, the body armor has been like this for a couple of days. This, the helmet though, that's a little bit on the newer side. So you can see they're doing kind of these like very small updates where I don't think you have to update the game. But they update it like server side or something. I don't I don't possibly know how it's going on, but whatever it is, it's got a new icon there. So that is for sure. But okie dokie, let's make our way up to this airdrop. Try to get what we want from there. We are ready to go. We are ready to go, man. Alright. I'm gonna go under there with melee though. I don't want to use that AK. That AK's gotta be used for something else. That's gotta be used for when we get to these tougher biomes. Especially when we're trying to get our copper. That's where the going really gets tough. Still though. Between the bear, the scuba mask, slash snorkel. There's really some exciting stuff coming up that, I don't know, I love talking about. I just love, I don't know, half the fun of Last Day on Earth is like looking forward to the future. And some of the new stuff they add. And a huge, like, I think 150% of the fun is when the new updates hit. I think you guys could agree with me on that. Because those new updates, oh, nothing more hype than checking out something brand spanking new. Alright, so we landed in the corner of the map. Any zombies want to get a little bit of cement to the face? Uh, no, I didn't think so. Let me loot in peace. Oh no, this one wants cement. Booyah! Booyah! Down to the ground you go. Another toxic spitzer. You want to go to the ground too? There's your ticket. All expense paid free trip to the ground. All right. Can I loot in peace now? Is all well? Is our beef solved? Is our beef settled? I think it might be. All right. Let's see what we can get out of this airdrop then. Hopefully something... No engine parts, but other stuff that I like getting my hands on. I, I heard movement. Oh, it's just the deer. Dang it, deer. Why you gotta get my hopes up like that every single time I see you? All right. But now that we got some of the loot from here, we're gonna make a pit stop by the base. Our northern base. Drop off a couple of the goods there so we can head into here with a pretty empty inventory. I really hope that we don't die this time, though. Um, I'm gonna try not to make a dumb mistake like last time where I went out of when I went back into the area after I got chased out by a, a player because that player kind or not the the AI you know what I'm talking about the person with the guns uh, after I got chased out by him that kind of led to some bad stuff where I hopped back in and he like insta shotted me because it takes a sec for your game to load at least when you're recording I don't know because recording does take some more stress on your phone because it's got to like record the video and stuff you know. <laughs> But let's just hope that that doesn't happen again. Because I don't want to have to recraft another military backpack, man. These things are magical. I feel like Alice in freaking Wonderland, dude. And instead, this is just pooping all over me. But okay. I think we should have another pickaxe here as well. So I could grab a second one while we're here. But I love having this. Some of you guys did bring up the point where it's like, Star, you have to be careful though. Because, you know, stuff could despawn. And that that is true. You do have to be careful maybe if you know that a big update's coming. Just just be raid. I, it, it's a risk you have to play with, but the reward of having a really useful pit stop is pretty good. Like I said, risky, but could be worth the risk. I guess just depends on how you guys see it, you know? So just make sure we got full food before we go into this. Let's grab that thing. Let's grab, ooh, 
Our fur armor is not in the best of shape, though, that's for sure. Yeah, it sucks that we lost our fur armor. We could craft up some more, but I just like stockpiling that stuff, so I don't know. Let's just hope that this is enough to uh, do the trick for us. Someone said, Star, why did you, uh, why do you leave this, uh, this armor in your inventory? Well, the main reason for that is, you know, in case we get into a battle or in case, like, at least I lose some of this armor. You know, I could swap it out really quickly. Be ready to go, like, instantly, but for real. Having this northern base, I'm, I'm probably going to stick around this northern parts for a little bit here. Trying to get some copper. Uh, I'll do a little bit of that with you guys, but I'll, I'll do most of it off camera, don't worry. But copper is definitely something, and even just steel. It's something that I don't feel comfortable, like, I have enough of. Because, like, I... I don't know. It's, it's that type of thing where it's like, what if the next update needs a lot of steel or something? So I want to be able to cover that update as fast as possible so you guys so you guys can see it as fast as possible and, you know, check out its awesomeness. And hopefully I can teach you guys right away, you know, maybe simple, like, noob event mistakes not to make how to best do the event. And a best way of doing that is to come prepared for it. So I'm thinking a lot of copper and whatnot might be a necessity for that. All we got to do, though, is find a little bit of copper. Loot up some things and all should be well in the world, but, uh, yeah. Oh, I forgot the most- I forgot my favorite parts of the videos. I forgot to wish you guys nothing but the most fan freaking fantastic day in the world. Sorry. I got so detracted about a bunch of the awesome- uh, distracted by a bunch of the awesome stuff we were talking about. But I really hope you're having an absolutely an amazing day, everybody out there, and hey, we got the cop. Oh, we got the cop. Oh, give me the cop. Oh. I'm a, I'm a happy miner right now, you know? I've been working on the copper ore all the ding dong day. Isn't that how that song goes? Except with like a railroad? Whatever. We working on copper, dude. The copper industry is a bit more booming than the railroad industry. Because I, I don't like... A lot of people are dead in the apocalypse. So not as many people to take railroads. Copper, on the other hand, always a valuable commodity. Ooh, another one. We do have to be careful, though, if someone comes and tries to jump us, because that's always absolutely the worst. So just got to be prepared. Always be looking at the map, especially if it's a VSS Venturas, because that thing can kill you in a couple shots. But always be looking on the map. Always be on the lookout for, like, people trying to come and hit you. Try not to aggro the red guys. Keep them out of that, like, inner circle in your mini-map. That inner circle is kind of like a safe zone. Something along those lines. And a little bit, we've gotten like, what, two copper ore from the outskirts, so that means the rest should be kind of closer to the middle. Which I don't like. I like outskirt copper. It's a lot easier to get. A lot less struggle, and less of a zombie minefield for us to have to survive through. Especially in such a big biome like this, dude. Honestly, this is a really big biome. Like, you guys have seen how much I walk across to get around the whole side of the map. It really is quite sizable. Okay. We got this here. No one's angry. Let's see what we can get from it. But yeah, I seriously hope you guys had an absolutely an amazing day. Absolutely a fan freaking fantastic one. If not, actually, even if you are, regardless of how your day is, though, I hope it gets even better. Maybe through this video. Maybe through just anything else going on in life. Regardless of that, I seriously hope that it does get better and you have yourself an even better day than before. And regardless of how that happens, I hope that tomorrow is an absolutely amazing day for you guys. Even amazinger than today. Even after you add in all the additional amazingness I hope you're having. All that jazz, that's jazz that I'm wishing upon you. So please, fulfill it. I believe in you. I like seeing the positivity of the world. And I like spreading it through you guys. And through sniffles, apparently. Ah, dude, I've had the sniffles for a while, man. I don't know what it is. Yeah, I, I, I have had the sniffles for longer than I'd like. But whatever, I survive with it. I'm a survivor. I will survive. Ooh, this guy over here is protecting a couple things. Oh, what up, guy? Okay, he's dead. However, this guy over here is wandering towards the copper. Frozen bloater, don't be doing that. This is my copper. I hope you keep wandering. Don't stop. Yeah, there you go. Perfect. We'll be able to get our hands on this copper ore. That dude wander right by. That's the scary thing about those like frozen bloaters. They actually patrol the map. I don't know any other zombies that actually patrol the map. Okay, uh, you're telling me a survivor's near? I might just leave after I get this copper ore. Because there's only going to be one to two more max. <laughs> if there's a survivor that's about to jump us, who the hell knows if I want to stick around. I'll look around a little bit more, but I'll be more than prepared to haul my booty out of here. 
I'm not trying to die. I'm trying to live. Living is cool. Oh no. Oh, that's just a rabbit wolf. Just a rabbit wolf. Okay. As long as- Oh my god, that's a lot of red. Let's try not to piss off these guys, shall we? I got a green ticket though, so that's nice. Um, That guy's on patrol. That guy's on patrol too. I might just try to... I think it's a toxic abomination though, because only frozen bloaters. Patrol, yeah. Oh no. No, that's not. No, no, no. No, that is a frozen bloater. Oh, and there's someone running after me. Oh, it's a dog. All right, abort. Abort. Ah! I've let them aggro onto me. Once this happens, it's not worth coming back in. I'm trying to save my resources. I'm not trying to use my AK more than need be. That's always my tactic. I really try to avoid conflict in these areas. That way we use less of our gun. We can gather more. Hopefully they don't wear down our fur armor. But you guys can see we got like, what, four out of that. So at least the way I like to do it is back and forth between the wooded foothills. The wooded foothills have less copper to get, but still copper's copper. And like, you have to go somewhere anyways to reset whatever's in the frosty backwoods. So like, it's not the worst idea in the world, you know? Ah, voice crack. I'm sorry, dude. It's like 11 a.m. My voice is a little bit more fragile in such times of the day. <laughs> All right, let's see if we can find any of that copper here. This biome is a little bit smaller. I, I, I legitimately think it is because I've walked around the entirety of it a lot quicker than I've walked around the entirety of the red biome. So maybe I'm crazy, who knows, but for real, I'm pretty sure that this is like smaller and also less of the super scary frozen bloaters. That is honestly the stuff of nightmares. Those guys, you better come ready if you're coming up here to the winter biome, but for real. Wish you guys nothing but the best, and I know I know it took a while for me to say this, and I wish you guys nothing but the greatest of luck when it comes to getting your hands on the chopper gas tank and all the chopper parts. Just making sure you guys, seriously, best of luck to you guys again. The chopper, I would love for you guys to be able to join me here in the north, so eventually you can crown me the king of the north, or something like that. Oh, let's not aggro that guy. That is a frozen bloater. King of the north. When we have our clan, oh, we'll, I, I want to be the king of the north. And it might be possible with such powerful clan mates such as you guys. So nothing but the best of luck when it comes to getting your hands on such a valuable commodity. And uh, what else was I going to say? I was going to say something else. Oh, yeah. Best of luck in the giveaway. Hey, best of luck finding some copper ore if you're me too. But best of luck in the giveaway as well. Like I was saying, can't wait to hear what you guys got to say regarding what did we talk about today. We talked about uh, mainly the bear which I'm very excited for, but also, uh, what was the second thing? The scuba snorkel mask. Both of those things, things I'm very excited to hear you guys talk about, hear your guys' opinions on. And like I said, best of luck when it comes to that giveaway. And I think I might be expanding to a second weekly giveaway as well. All right. But I think it might be on Fortnite Battle Royale videos because I'm liking that so much and a lot of guys seem to be liking it too. So just as a heads up, there might be a second weekly giveaway solely on those types of videos, so if that's something that might interest you, head on over to those videos, make sure you're supporting them. This is like a minefield, I'm just gonna get out of here. We got one copper from that, I'm happy. That means from two trips, like we had to run somewhere anyways. We got five copper ore, that is a copper ingot back at home, so I'm happy with that. So I'm just gonna continue doing this little back and forth. I after I get, I think after I get a stack of copper, I'll probably head back. Like every time I get a stack of copper, I might head back here, drop off any loot we might pick up. Importantly, drop off this stack of copper we'd have on us. And hopefully we can get our hands on some more fur too. But as long as we're not getting damaged, like the, the armor doesn't go down super fast. So that's kind of nice. But uh, yeah. Other than that, I think it's a good point for us to go ahead and wrap the video up on. Like I was saying though, go to the newest Fortnite Battle Royale video, that's where I kind of talk about a little bit. Uh, uh, potentially doing that second weekly giveaway, I think it'll be on those videos. So one giveaway will be every week on Last Day on Earth, and another one on Fortnite Battle Royale slash this other second video I'd upload every day. I don't know, we'll see, but uh, that's kind of the game plan there. But other than that, like I was saying, can't wait to hear what you guys gotta say regarding this video. Hopefully you guys have yourselves an absolutely amazing day and uh, best of luck in that chopper That's all that I'm ever wishing for you guys nothing but the best but that's gonna wrap it up for me for now Thank you guys all tough for watching. Have yourselves a fantastic day and I'll talk to you in the next one. See ya